Hey everybody, Max Ada here. Welcome to our series on the five pillars of front squat. Today we're gonna to go over the front rack. So this is gonna be a video kind of explaining the finer points of racking the bar on the front of your chest if you're getting ready to do a front squat as it pertains to weightlifting. So I have my assistant here, Kalen Pepito, 58 kilo uh, lifter, lifting for Team Juggernaut. So when we set up for a front squat, obviously the main difference between a front squat and a back squat is the bar is sitting on the front of your chest. What's important is that when you set up for a front squat, especially if you're a weightlifter, we wanna make sure our hands are in basically the best place for us to teach and reinforce the technique of the clean and the rack and the jerk. So when setting up for the front squat, Kaylin's gonna approach the bar. She's gonna put her hands basically about as wide as she would on the clean, if that's possible. Everyone's gonna be a little bit different here in, the, in how they hold the bar in their chest, be just based on the length of their forearm, the length of their upper arm, uh, wrist flexibility, finger position, all these different things are gonna change based on individual uh, differences for somebody. So generally though, what we wanna have is the hands are about as wide as they are in the clean and, and or the same as they would be for the jerk. Uh, if you have to prioritize one, it would be better to be closer to the jerk uh, as that's really what's gonna help strengthen that position for the, over, the start of the jerk. So she's gonna get set, she's gonna bring her hands into that position, wrapping around with a full grip if possible, and then rotating her elbows underneath. So before she picks it up, let's look at this position. She's got her hands completely around the bar, she can. Her elbows are out in front of her. The bar is gonna sit behind her delt, okay? We don't wanna have the bar too far forward where the weight's now sitting in her hands, it's on the top of her delt, it's gonna slide and be really unstable. And we don't wanna have it so far back that you know, she passes out at the top. So ideally, behind the delt, in order to do that, we're gonna look at the back. She's gonna tense up the lats. This flaring of the lats allows her to kind of build a stable shelf in her upper back to prevent the bar from full falling, or to really prevent her upper back from kind of collapsing on the way down. Bring the shoulders in and up and create a nice little shelf here for the bar to sit on them. Doing all of those things, bringing the shoulders in and up, it's gonna lift your elbows higher. Keep your hands around the bar. This is a perfect front rack. She's gonna be a good, this is gonna be a good position for her to actually squat from if she can maintain that position. So the other option, if you don't have the ability to wrap your fingers all the way around the bar, is to grab the bar with a fingertip grip. So Kaylin's gonna get under. In this case, let's just say her forearm is too long or if she has too much inflexibility in her wrist, she's gonna roll the bar back onto the tips of her fingers. This is acceptable for weightlifting, it's fine. If you have limited mobility or you just physically can't get in that position without uh, kind of compromising everything else in your upper back or upper body, uh, this is a fine solution. Ideally, we want the whole hand around the bar, but we'll, we can accept this as a, a decent position for the front rack. So to recap, we covered three main points. Uh, First being keeping a full grip on the bar if possible, ideally wrapping your hand around it if you can. If not, it's okay to have a couple fingertips, but really work and try and get that full grip. Second point, having the bar set back behind the delt. Okay, we want that bar sitting behind our delt rather than on top. It's gonna be a much more stable position and it puts the bar directly over our body in a better position. And the third point is we wanna make sure we keep our lats tense and engaged and the whole upper body pushing up into the weight, keeping our elbows high. Thanks for watching the first video in our five part series, The Five Pillars of Front Squat. If you liked the video, go ahead and subscribe to the YouTube page and stay tuned for the other four parts.